exclusive live radar tracking storms so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 weather. We've had some clouds move in from the west this morning. That's limited that temperature rise, but it's still warm. It's still plenty muggy out there. We're expecting storms over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. 86 degrees right now under mostly cloudy conditions in Birmingham. Still feeling like 94 degrees when you factor in that humidity. A little more sunshine farther down to the south and west. Tuscaloosa at 88. It's 90 already in Utah. 89 Alabaster, 88 degrees in Clanton. Thicker cloud cover uh, for central and northern areas, and so that's limiting that temperature climb. It feels like 95 in Coleman, feels like 101 in Gadsden, 100 in Tuscaloosa, 103 for that heat index right now in Alabaster. Also monitoring a few sprinkles that are falling from those clouds through portions of uh, St. Clair County back into Talladega County right along the interstate right now. Not amounting to much, obviously pushing off to the east. Now what we're going to watch later today, thunderstorm complex ongoing over the state of Arkansas, and this is going to move our way. Likely additional storm development out ahead of this as well. Uh, a little bit of sunshine now in North Mississippi, and uh, eventually we'll see some of these storms forming and heading our way later on this afternoon, especially I think into the evening and overnight hours through 7 p.m. Isolated, widely scattered pop up storms, more organized areas of heavy rain likely late this evening and overnight tonight. Any of the storms that do form later on today have the potential to be strong to possibly severe. Damaging wind gusts would be the primary threat with these storms. Of course, they're going to produce a lot of lightning. Also the potential for some locally heavy rainfall and that potential may actually be heightened overnight through early tomorrow morning. Several of our models are showing a band of heavy rain developing near I-20 and kind of training over the same areas. These individual storms moving from west to east, so that could really pile up those rainfall totals if that were to occur, especially over urban areas that likely would lead to some flooding. Something I'll have to watch through the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning. All of central Alabama uh, included under that slight level two on our scale of one to five for severe weather risk for this afternoon and evening. Damaging wind gusts, maybe some quarter size hail, but again, wind gusts, the primary threat here. In addition to that possibility for some of the heavy rain as well. Once we get past tomorrow morning, many of us drying out for tomorrow afternoon. So the impact weather for later today through tonight turning less humid on Sunday. Lows will get back down into the upper 60s. Daytime highs near 90 Sunday and Monday, although we'll start to heat back up as we move through next week. Jarvis.